At first, Diane Dunlop thought there were wasps buzzing around her second floor balcony, but when she took the cover off an unused barbecue, she discovered those definitely are not wasps. Nestled under an electric barbecue, a huge beehive with thousands of insects is making this deck off limits. A closer look reveals an active colony, complete with honeycomb. Oh, you're crazy. <laughs> no, no, no. After gathering my nerve, I opened the sliding glass door for a peek. We had seen them flying around out there, but we thought they were coming from the woods. Diane ditched her potted plants, hoping that would help. My son and I kind of threw them over. <laughs> thinking maybe they were attracting the, bee, the uh, wasps. Yeah. So. She even sprayed the area, thinking they would vanish. Some bees died, but the colony survived, so Diane decided to have a look under that barbecue cover. So I ripped it off Thanksgiving evening. <laughs> I got stung a couple times. That ended up not being a good idea. I was going, <laughs> like I was screaming coming in, and my son was there like, what are you doing? <laughs> Jonathan Simpkins from Insect IQ tells me a beekeeper should attempt a live removal. The colony can be moved, but only if it's re-queened. Problem is, he says the success rate is low. The guy I talked to today said they might have been there for six months or more. Whoa. To be that big. Oh, really? Yeah. A spokesperson for Bridgewater Place Apartments tells me a bee guy will be here Tuesday to get rid of Diane's bee problem. In St. Petersburg, Peter Bernard, News Channel 8.